So guys, the question that we are going to solve today is this merge intervals, and this question has been asked in so many companies. And today we are going to learn two different approaches for this question. So make sure to watch it till the end and save this free right away for quick revision. Okay, now let's see what the question is saying. So we are given an array of intervals, and our task is to merge all the overlapping intervals and return an array of non-overlapping ones that cover all the intervals from the input. What does it mean? It means if you see one comma three and two comma six. You can clearly see this one comma three is overlapping with two comma six because two is lesser than three, right? So these intervals are overlapping. So we will merge them. One comma three, two comma six. After merging, it will become one comma six. So we will add it to our answer list. So that's how we need to merge all the overlapping intervals and return an array of non-overlapping ones that cover all the intervals from the input, right? Now let's see the first approach. In the first approach, what we are going to do? First, we will sort all the intervals because after sorting, all the closest possible intervals will come together. And after sorting, what will happen? For each interval, I will compare it with the rest of the intervals to check if they overlap or not. If they are overlapping, we will extend the end value. For example, I am here. Okay, I have one comma three. Okay, so I will check this interval with the rest of the intervals. I will check if this interval is overlapping with this one or not. How to check that? I will check the start value of it with this value, with the end value of this. Right? I will check if this is less than or equal to this one. Then it means. This will overlap with this one. One comma three is overlapping with two comma six, right? So we will extend the end value. So it will become one comma six. This one comma six is covering the, both of these two intervals, right? So the same thing we have done here in the code. We have a list here to store all the possible merged intervals. Okay. After that, we are sorting the intervals based on their start time. Now we have a loop. Okay. We calculated the start and end point of that interval. For example, in the first iteration, start will be having one, end will be having three, right? Now I will check. This interval with the rest of the intervals. How to check that? If the start value is less than or equal to the end value of the last interval in our answer list, in that case, we will come to know that this interval is overlapping with this one. So the same thing we are doing here. Start end. We are comparing this interval with the rest of the intervals, right? We are checking the start value if the first value is less than or equal to the end value of this interval. That means these intervals are overlapping. So we will extend the end value. How to extend that? Whatever the maximum of these two will be having in their end, we will update that. Three comma six, which is the maximum. Six is the maximum, so end will now be having six. So it will become one comma six, right? And after iteration, we will add that into our answer list. Okay. If at any point we find that the interval has already been merged, how to find that? We will check the end value. If the end value is less than equal to this value, in that case, it means this interval has already been merged. So in that case, we will not do anything. We will just simply continue. Now, after adding all the merged interval in our answer list, we need to return a 2D array. So what we are doing here, we are converting the list into a 2D array. So that's how we can solve this question using the brute force approach.